Now, back out to Memorial Stadium for more of the Husker Countdown pregame show on 90.3 KRNU. For Husker Countdown, I'm Tommy Rezach. Launches it, goes for the end zone, the ball's in the air, it drops at the goal line. I think he caught it for a touchdown. He got it! He got it! He got it! He got it. Touchdown, Nick Matthews! The Cougars win it! The Cougars win it! One play, one second, one desperation heave. A Hail Mary. That was the difference between jubilation and heartbreak last Saturday in Lincoln. Husker fans now know what it's like to be on both ends of a Hail Mary. Kellogg's throw. This wild, desperate, 50-50 play has been the difference between a win and a loss for many teams. In fact, BYU beat SMU in the 1980 Holiday Bowl on a 42-yard touchdown in the final seconds. McMahon all the way back in his own 46, throwing for the end zone. It is in the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown! Touchdown, Brigham Young! The Hail Mary phrase in football originated in 1922. Notre Dame running back Jim Crowley, known as one of the four horsemen in the Irish backfield, often told a story of an October 1922 matchup between Georgia Tech and Notre Dame, where the Irish said a Hail Mary prayer before each of the two touchdowns they scored in a 13-3 victory over the Yellow Jackets. Thirteen years later, on November 2, 1935, Ohio State and Notre Dame met in Columbus for the so-called Game of the Century. With 32 seconds remaining and Notre Dame trailing by a point, Irish halfback Bill Shakespeare found receiver Wayne Milner for a 19-yard game-winning touchdown. 40 seconds to go. Bill Shakespeare fades back behind perfect blocking. Heaves a long forward into the end zone. Milner's got it. Notre Dame's winning touchdown. It's a remarkable, sensational victory for Notre Dame. Notre Dame head coach Elmer Layden, who was also one of Notre Dame's four horsemen, called the game-winning pass a Hail Mary play. For the next 40 years, the term was largely confined to Notre Dame and Catholic universities. But in 1975, Dallas Cowboys quarterback Roger Staubach made the Hail Mary forever famous. After the game, they just said to me, Roger, what were you thinking about when you threw the ball? And I, I just said, well, I, I closed my eyes and said Hail Mary. Staubach hit receiver Drew Pearson for a 50-yard touchdown with 24 seconds left, lifting the Cowboys over the Vikings 17-14 in an NFC Divisional Playoff game. When asked about the miracle pass, Staubach said it was just a Hail Mary play. From then on, Hail Marys became more frequent, especially in college. 1984. Doug Flutie hits receiver Gerard Fellon for a 52-yard touchdown as time expired, lifting Boston College over Miami 47-45. It would become known as Hale Flutie. Flutie flushed, throws it down, caught by Boston College! I don't believe it! It's a touchdown! The Eagles win it! And in 2014, Arizona, Arizona State, and Central Florida all notched a victory by a hope and a Hail Mary. Looking downfield, it's going to heave it towards the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona! Do you believe it? Arizona State wins on a Hail Mary! He caught it for the touchdown! UCF wins it! Even with a recent increase, Hail Marys are still few and far between. Regardless, limiting big plays has been a key focus for the Huskers this week after giving up 7.1 yards per play to BYU. And if South Alabama or any other team ever tries a Hail Mary against Nebraska, the message is simple. Be in front of the receiver and bat the ball down. I think one thing you want to do if you're Nebraska, next time you defend this, you always want to have somebody in front of the receiver. We all didn't execute on that type of play. And, uh, you know, those, those are the types of things that we worked on in fall camp and don't think it's going to happen until it actually happens. So it was a tough play. I thought we had a great start against BYU until we gave up a big pass play. You, you, you really have to limit those kinds of plays in games. For Husker Countdown, I'm Tommy Rezaj. Stay tuned. Husker Countdown continues next, only on 90.3 KRNU.